Well, that's a wrap for week five of football watching for me. I follow a few of these talking heads. I haven't heard anybody say this yet. And I don't have any intel. But I read the statement from Turbin Meyer about that was a gut-wrenching something or other loss the other night. When his Jaguars blew a 14-0 lead against the Bengals, right? How many is that in a row? 20 something straight the Jags have won, uh, managed to lose? Does anybody else get the feeling, just a feeling, that Coach Meyer will pull a saving very, very soon? The dude's a college coach. The dude's had health issues. Sound familiar? The dude took a job to coach in the NFL in Florida because the weather's nice. Didn't Saban coach the Dolphins for about a cup of coffee? Didn't he say, I'll never leave Miami, and the next thing you know, he's on a plane to Tuscaloosa? If you think Urban Meyer, his people, haven't been in contact with USC, you ain't paying attention. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, why would that guy, I don't care how much they're paying him, does he have an escape clause? Can he breach his contract? When you're that wealthy, Southern California, USC, the fight zone, them cheerleaders, or one of the worst teams in the NFL want to rebuild, or one of the worst teams in the NFL on a rebuild. Sure, he's got a great quarterback. It should be a star. But why would you not leave? I'm going to save this. Probably just sleep dog being conspiracy guy. But I think I'm on to something. If any of those cats like Colin Coward breaks us out this week in his show, I'm probably going to have to sue him. Because this was my theory. Later.